Yeah. Uh, I think this actually would go down the $31 mark. Well, boys, gotta give it to you guys, huh? I was wrong, right? I said it would drop below the, the 31.72 line. I guess I was wrong, boys. We are another day in the in the green for AMC, for over 22%, and we're over the uh 31.72 support line, and. Gotta say it, the upside is huge, boys. The upside is huge. So if tomorrow we can go over the 33 and 91 line or stabilizes over there, we're we're set. We're, we're um we're heading towards the $45 line, boys. We're heading towards the $45 line. And guess what? If you check out the the aftermarket trade on Robinhood, boys, you got me there. You see, we closed it at around $32 line, and look at this. Look at this huge upside right here, aftermarket. You sneaky boys, you buy an aftermarket, huh? And yeah, let's talk about why I had my hypothesis in the morning and why I was wrong. Well, everything start with this news, let's see. So in the morning, about around... Market opens. I I got a news about you know AMC. The CEO of AMC sold issued new shares and sold eight million shares. That was you know two hundred thirty point five million to a moderate capital management. Whatever, it's a hedge fund, right? And then as an ape, we know hedge funds are evil. So what I did is so I did some math. Eight million shares. That's about you know around like three point three percent of um, increase of the total amount of shares in AMC, which means is everybody who used to own an AMC, their their value of their share actually was diluted by 3.3%. So an example would be, so let's say AMC was a hundred dollars, and when this deal happened, all of your AMC shares basically they were diluted, and then it actually was about 97. Point well, actually, it will be $96.7. So all of the value of our AMC share just instantly decreased by 3.3%. And what I'm thinking, I was like, oh my god, these guys are going to dump it uh, right away, right? And guess what? I was right. So if you are, you know, um, whoever this person is in charge of Nerdo Capital Management, you bought a million share at, I think, at a premium at $27.12, right? Well, what is funny is that was actually my on average price for AMC at uh, this day. And then when market opens, it opens on um, around like 30 bucks and it went up, AMC went up like to $32. And they sold all of it. They sold all of it at 32, right? Let's see. So um, if you go to the news where it says, damn, all these ads. It says AMC. See, AMC Entertainment Stick re reportedly sold by it. So they sold all of their positions. So how much did our hedge fund boys make? A million dollars, right? Uh, 32, 27, that's what, five bucks, right? He just made 40 million in one trade. If I were him, I would totally sold it. And his reason is, yeah, everybody have uh, such a bowish, you know, expectation for the stock. That's why I think it's overvalued. I mean, he clearly doesn't understand the ape culture. And on on Wall Street Bad, a lot of people are saying, you know, he's he's an ape. No, he's not. I mean, he maybe deep down he is. But as a hedge fund manager, this is the most rational decision you can make because you basically make forty million dollars in like one instant, right? And what else, right? And so after, after you know, I looked at it, I was like, oh my god! So when he sold a million shares on the market, that means there's gonna be a million shares there for other hedge funds to short. And if you're a rational investor, I will go up there and look at the short interest, right? So let's look at some short interest. This is actually only from uh, May 14, so it's a bit outdated, but. Uh, percentage short is 21%. Right now, it's actually higher than that um, because uh, according to the short volumes every single day, it, it actually increased over the past few days. 
And if you look at uh, on here, short shares are available, right? So today around 11 o'clock, short shares available right here was actually around 500,000. Okay, it's a half a million share available. An hour later, it's 50,000 available. And guess what? Around market closed, it's zero amount of shares available. What does it mean is all of the short sellers, short sellers are actually doubling down their positions, okay? They're doubling down their positions. And guess what? Due to the popularity of, of them doubling down their positions, if you go down here, well, right now it says it's NA. But in reality, yesterday, the the borrowing rate is around 7.7%. And around 12 o'clock today is 9.8%. And I didn't check aftermarket. I think it's going to go up around like 10.1%. Guys, shorting AMC is becoming more and more expensive. And, you know, tomorrow I think I'm going to add a little bit on to my portfolio. I'm going to add a little bit of AMC to my portfolio because... If, if all of you have diamond hands, we're just holding the back down. The longer we hold there, the, the reward is huge. Because if you look at the option chain right now, I don't have the option the option chain up here. But if you, if you look at it, you will, you, will, you will figure out that, you know, a lot of call options, people are buying call options, and we might actually have another gamma squeeze on, on Friday, around Friday, right? I'm assuming we're going to hold on tight to our positions. And who knows what's gonna happen, boys? I'm telling you guys, if we stand, if we stand firm, nice and firm, over the $33.91 cent uh, $33 line, and if we stand firm, so right now the aftermarket price is actually over the highest point, the local, like the, the highest point of five year, the five year highest point at 36, $36.72. So right now, aftermarket, we're, we're standing at $37. If we stand steady firm tomorrow, right? If we if if, if tomorrow the market cl close and AMC was at let's say thirty seven twenty one dollars, okay? What does that mean? That means next day we're pushing for the big forty five dollars. We're pushing for it, okay? We're pushing for the forty five dollar, forty five. We're going up there, boys. We're going up there, okay? For those of you diamond hands, it's all you, dude. It's all you guys. It's all you. And guess what? When we reach this 45, hedge funds are going to panic. And it sure is going to be interesting. All right. This is it for this video. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe. There's going to be way more due diligence stuff. Not only on AMC. I'm also going to make a video on after this about the mistakes I made today in the market and what I did right and what I did wrong. Okay? Alright guys, see you on the other side.